GameStop's been making some big news. Everyone's talking about it. You want to probably want to know why. Well, guess what? This stock has been moving for the past several days. And then all of a sudden, Mr. Kitty came out and did a nice little X Twitter tweet that you probably will call. And that really made the stock pop. So when did it start? It actually started about a week ago. And not only that, we're going to see how it did it. And we're going to see how day traders find stocks like this and how they move because you could have jumped in because it's all about buy on rumor, sell on news. So let's go check out and see what happened in the market and see how we could find stocks like this because it's not just GameStop. It was also AMC. It was KOSS. And there's a lot of others are out there. So let's go check that out. You notice here in pre-market, the stock had a really nice push. Let me just zoom out over. You can see what happened as of yesterday. This stock started right around 830, had a big run up from 23, then shot up, went all the way up to a price of 35. And obviously that was due to the what happened over the weekend on, on the Twitter uh, that Kitty uh, put out there. But sure enough, you could see that once rumor got out, everyone started jumping on the bandwagon. What you want to focus on is right here. This is where things get very, very dangerous and very scary. You'll notice that the stock right around 7 o'clock this morning, it ran from $47, shot up to a whopping number, exactly $80. Why 80? Why not 82.50? Why not 77? I'm going to show you exactly why. All of a sudden, orders started showing up right here. You are looking at what's called level four. Level four is where all the orders are at. You can see it right here that right around seven o'clock, I had that big run up. And then all of a sudden, these big, big orders came out there. You want to know how big those orders are? I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to bring it over here on the right. I want you to look over here on the right-hand side. There was literally, actually, it was more than that, 140,000 shares looking to be sold. And it even got bigger than that. It was 37. It was 40,000. Look how big that orange that line was. So all of a sudden, those orders came out right around that time at 7.30. The stock slingshotted all the way back down to 45 and shot back up. And you could see that now as the day went on, the market opens up, boom, order starts showing up. You could see that there are spaces in between those times. Those are five-minute spaces. Those are called halts. When a stock gets extremely volatile, like GameStop, stock went down and tanked. And that's how we had that big push. Now you could see as the day goes on, we are right now roughly around 11 o'clock. The stock got halted again. It's all the way back down to 45. Now, 45 is a pretty big support level. It's been hovering there for a little while, so I've been a little fan of it. But what I want to tell you is this. How could have you found out before the news, before everything? Well, I want to show you something a little bit here that we do here at Cybertrain University. I want to go back a couple of, I want to go back a little bit, and you can see here the stock back here around the 8th had a really, really nice push. I'm going back just a couple of days. You can't really tell because of this. But let me move this chart right here. And you can see here, we actually had a nice little run right around here on the 2nd of May. Stock was down at 11. Then it ran up to about 12. Then it ran up to around 17. Now, we were trading this stock for a little while right here. I want to bring this up and show you here. This is our professional trading room. And in our professional trading room, I want you to focus on right here. Um, this right here on the... Was it um, right here? You can see it says, uh, Josh, one of our instructors here. And right there, you can see it. You see where it says GameStop? You see the date right here? This is our afternoon meeting. And we actually started seeing it picking up right around there. And that date is on the 3rd. Do you know what date that was, ladies and gentlemen, on the 3rd? That was right here. That was that was 2.30. Then that's when I made that pop from 14.50 up to a whopping $17. So we kind of knew it was happening before anyone else knew it. How do we know it? Well, a lot of reasons. We saw people bidding for it. We saw our iceberg orders showing up on the bid. We saw a lot going on, something that we kind of really focus here that I was trained over the past 30 years being a market maker, you know, here on Wall Street. So, and being one of the original day traders. Now, what happened is it wasn't just this stock also, even uh, AMC was moving following wing with it also. You could see, obviously, that's the other big news. AMC obviously had a big, big move up to $13. But the thing is, you always want to buy on rumor and sell on news. So how do you know how these things happen? Well, that's what we kind of cover and you need to focus on. You need to focus on where the buyers are. You need to focus on where are those orders are, what makes them going, You know, who's buying it, who's selling it. And, you know, that's how you get caught onto it. But the thing is, can it still go up? It absolutely can. Can it tank?
Absolutely. But how do we know that? Seeing where those orders are, where those iceberg orders, where those 150,000, 200,000 share buyers are, because your 1,000 shares are not going to move it. You want to know exactly where to get in, where to get out. It's all about those orders, and it's all about seeing what's happening, where they are. Now, where the buyers are, just kind of lets you know on GameStop, I'm not really seeing anything. I am seeing what's called a ladder effect, which we kind of call a seven-layer cake. These are all algorithms, 193,000 shares right now. You could see it focusing on the stock right here. 193,000, 200,000 at 100, 145,000, 147,000 at 60. Do you notice that they're in $5 intervals? If you don't know, if you don't have the program trading, if you don't know where those orders are and you get caught holding the bag and you don't know if they're getting executed, you're going to get stuck and you're going to lose all your money. And that's what it's about. It's not about making money. It's about controlling those losses. And you don't want to be caught holding the bag like most people did this morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next upcoming video. And remember, everybody, you got to learn before you could earn.